the movie blog here, we have Carmen and Gojo. So Carmen, what were some of the biggest challenges you faced with getting into this role? You know, there weren't any massive challenges except just making sure that I understood the tone of the whole project because it's like yeah. we're in, we're entering into the like the comic world uh, of the Penguin, but there's something so grounded and authentic that it feels just like the best of HBO drama, frankly. That you know, and I, you know, that knowing how to sort of make the two those two things those two ideas work in my head took a minute because you know I thought I was just like living in like comic literally in comic book world but I think the Batman had already set and Matt Reeves had already set the sort of idea that you can enter this sort of arena and this sort of universe and still allow it to be grounded and so so that was a bit of a challenge for a second but then once I kind of figured it out and got my footing then it was like okay off to the races. Okay and speak okay was there any research or anything that you had to do first are you a are you a DC fan are you a comic fan? I am, and my son is huge, huge fan. So I'm like, it's in the household. Everyone's like, very. It's in. It's been in my world since he was teeny guy. So I'm very much like uh, familiar with like the, the the whole the thing, the universes. But um, as for as for this character, uh, we sort of played it as though it was a like an, a really an invention from scratch so that it's not really based on anything that's been written previously, specifically. So that gave me the freedom to really do what I wanted, you know? So I got to sort of like help design the hair, like I wanted to go blonde and work with amazing hair and makeup and costume designer who helped, you know, get this incredible outfit and look together for her. So there's definitely sort of like figuring out and collaborating with everyone on that front. And then I was inspired by some New York artists like Nan Golden um, as, as a sort of muse for what her world would have looked like, her friends would have looked like, and just what her sort of vibe would have been. And, and being that you had that creative freedom, uh, what aspect of your character's journey do you feel like will resonate the most with the audience? The fact that she's just relentless and tenacious and doesn't give up and makes it to the end, <laughs> despite all, you know, like really, because there's a lot of things that are thrown at all of these characters that they're not all going to make it, right? And so I think the fact that she gets as far as she does um, speaks volumes about like just her, her spunkiness and her, you know, edge. And, and the relationships in the Batman universe itself are very complex. Um, was there any kind of on-screen or off-screen chemistry that you guys had to do to, you know, get into character to be able to work be best with each other? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, well, Colin and I have worked together before, so that always helps when you've actually got a sense of how someone sort of approaches the work. Um, and... I mean, everyone was just easy to get on with and easy to, everyone was so committed to doing great work that that just means that there's not, there's, there aren't any hurdles, there aren't any egos to get past. Everyone's really like doing the grind. So um, yeah, I think we all just like gelled well. And, and what excited you the most about playing this role? Oh gosh, I mean, <laughs> I think the idea of just playing somebody who is a little different from what I've done before, I'm always looking for that. Uh, the chance to play with Colin again, always welcomed. And uh, the idea of playing somebody that's a, new, a real New Yorker. I've lived in New York now 20 years. I mean, he just moved out and I feel like I'm, this is, this is my, these are my people at this point. So to get to portray New York and Gotham City in like this whole other way, is um you know it's, it's a bit of a privilege yeah and last question without giving away too much is there any favorite scene that you have my last scene my scene with sophia played by kristen that was a really well written scene i really appreciated the writing the lot lots lots going on and the last scene 
I'll leave it at that. You have to see what the last scene is. <laughs> what a cliffhanger. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you taking the time out. Thank you.